bouncing off the walls. One day he woke up with 105 temperature, weeks. After about a month and 45 vials of blood, I got tired and I asked to go to Hershey. We went to Hershey and um, went to the Bone and Joint Institute and met with a doctor who was surprising enough, his name was Grant and his last name was Grow. After all this blood work and everything that had, uh, Grant had done, Dr. Grow did a urine test. He also did an x-ray. We got the phone call that we needed to take Grant back to Hershey pretty much immediately because he had cancer. And immediately, they want to do tests. They want to take him in for surgery, have a port put in so that he can get chemo starting right away. So one of his favorite things about the hospital was going up there and jumping from the window cushion, which is where I slept, to his bed. And it was a good distance. He had five chemo treatments, a surgery, a stem cell transplant, which put us in the hospital over Christmas. And we found out on his dad's birthday that he was in remission. Best news ever. This only lasted a couple of months. We got through a Disney trip, and Brad's chemo, er, cancer came back just weeks before starting school. And Brad was bummed because he didn't get to go to K4 because of cancer. He didn't want to miss K5. And um, he had to have a tumor removed from his neck. And he told the doctor, he's like, you better hurry up because I'm going camping. And the doctor's like, you're not going camping this weekend. There's no way. And he told the doctor, you better hurry up because I'm going camping. That weekend, Grant was camping and riding a bike, even after the tumor was, was removed from his neck. After the, uh, he relapsed, it was downhill from there. Brad, uh, the, the cancer started eating away at the bones in his legs, causing him to get a, um, I say, a plate put in his leg to protect his hip from breaking. The tumors had spread to his lung, to his brain, and several other areas. So the entire time we had the backing of Four Diamonds. Four Diamonds helped with meal vouchers, which without them, I would have been hungry. Um, they helped with gas vouchers, which it's expensive. And back then, gas was almost $4 a gallon. They helped with music therapy. Um, Child Life is also provided by Four Diamonds. And they help with activities, arts and crafts, and bingo, and stuff like that. So they were there as a support for us. Grant's medical bills racked up quick. Our medical insurance told us that his, me his chemo treatments were not medically necessary. So within the first month, they were over a million dollars. But because of Four Diamonds and all of you and everything that you guys do, we didn't get one bill. In December of 2010, Grant was in the hospital. He was having a hard time breathing. And I had no idea because he was still bouncing off the walls. And um, they said that his lung had collapsed, that the tumors had eaten through his lung, and that he had pneumonia. So he was in the hospital for two weeks and was sent home just before Christmas. And in January, Grant, in January 2011, Grant passed away a week from his birthday. Four Diamonds was still there. They called us and asked if we needed help paying for his funeral. I turned them down and told them that we had it covered to use it for somebody else. So what you guys are doing is wonderful. You are helping families when they have no hope or when they're just trying to figure out how they're going to get through the next day. So I just want to thank you.
do this all night. Seventeen thousand dollars. Good afternoon, LHS. I'm Haiti. And I'm Kirsten. Today is Tuesday, April 5th, 2016. There will be a second blood drive on April 15th. Sign-ups will be taking place on the 12th through the 14th of April. LHS will be holding our annual Day of Caring on April 23rd. Stay tuned for more information. Attention all juniors. Interested in applying to a four-year college next year? Sign up for the SAT exams on May 7th or June 4th. There are registration deadlines, so don't wait until the last minute. Go to sat.collegeborg.org to register. If you are interested in taking part of the Summer Driving Education Program, you can contact Ms. Lawrence at dlawrence at lebanon.k12.pa.us or call 717-821-0906 for more information. You must be at least 15 years old to be eligible to participate. The Behind the Wheel portion costs $30 and you must have your driver's permit. There will be a cheerleading meeting held this Wednesday, April 6th during sick period in the LGI. Students are needed to help out at the track meets this spring after school. If you are interested, please contact Coach Janchak. Also, the weight room will be closed today after school. The Moisture Cultural Celebration will be held on Wednesday, April 13th from 5.30 to 7.30. There will be food, crafts, and customs for countries from all over the world. Tune in next time for more updates on sports, clubs, and other events going on in our school if you are a member of a club or sports team and would like to be featured on our show. Just contact a member of the WLHS team. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day. Levin High.